Well, I'm driving this morning and uh, it gave me some time to listen to this uh, disgraceful hearing uh, where the Senate is grilling, I don't know, really grilling uh, Mueller about his, uh, Robert Mueller about the, about the uh, report that he released and the whole investigation of Trump. What an absolute disgusting demonstration of what our country has uh, become from a leadership standpoint. I can only imagine the amount of dollars, the amount of time, the amount of possible progress that we could have had that has been wasted on this investigation and on this uh, report. And, and even now, the only reason that they're even having this hearing is for uh, the senators to come in and tell their own story and their own narrative. It isn't really a hearing. Uh, for those of you who won't bother to waste your time watching it, which you shouldn't, uh, or listen to it, it basically is uh, a volleyball contest between uh, political and Republican uh, senators uh, bouncing their version of the ball back and forth and at best asking Mueller, Robert Mueller, yes or no questions because they don't really want him to talk and when they do ask him a substantive question he just says I, I won't comment on that or uh, refer to the report anyways. Uh, so the whole thing is just a, it's a a Hollywood circus. It's like a combination of attorneys, really bad actors, uh, and uh, a story without a plot, all playing out in front of us, and these people are actually serious. And from the, from the Democratic standpoint, all they want you to hear is everyone should be subject to the law or whatever their stupid quote is that they're saying, which is not stupid in itself, but the fact that they're using it as a, a political tool uh, to disperse negativity throughout the country uh, is ridiculous. There is a special group of people on staff at CNN whose entire purpose is to tie everything negative to Trump. And if you just look at the news, you can see how they're doing that. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you could have like, uh, you know, rising tides or something in Nicaragua, and it would somehow be Trump's fault, according to CNN and the radical left-wing wackos that are trying to literally disassemble what is America. No, they're not even trying to disassemble it. They're just trying to go back in history and redefine uh, what America is to fit their own crazy ideas. Anyway, I'm a little irritated. Uh, and let me explain why, just specific to this whole Mueller probe and what uh, what's happening here. So, at the outset, this investigation was purposed with trying to figure out if, in fact... President Trump colluded with Russia to uh, influence the election. For those of you who don't know, there is absolutely zero chance that that happened. And nobody in the media or Mueller's team or anybody anywhere is continuing that narrative because they know it is absolutely false. There is zero evidence uh, that that happened and in fact there is a mountain of supporting evidence that it did not happen so they've moved on from what they're calling Russian collusion which to be clear the whole reason that Mueller was appointed was because of this potential which I agree something like that should be investigated but there's nothing there and the the radical leftists can, you know, refuse to let go of it. And so here we are with a hearing that was driven by, uh, you know, Nadler and his crew, which he ought to be, what a joke of a senator. Uh, you, you've, you've basically, you, again, you're, you've got this hearing that's driven 
driven by uh, the Democratic Party to make sure they can tell their own story, to continue their negative narrative. So it was started because there was this valid desire to investigate uh, Russian collusion. And it seems as though throughout the investigation, it was primarily focused on or limited to, or, or the splinters of the investigation were primarily focused or limited to any way they could tie Trump to it. Any investigation uh, to where they could try to flip a witness to get them to testify against Trump. You know, Manafort was a, was an example of that. Uh, who's the three-star general that they... Uh, what a story that is. That guy is innocent as as white as white. It's so ridiculous. They, they basically ran him out of money and he ended up with a plea deal. What is his name? I can't even remember now. Um, anyway, he's totally, it's totally not true, the stuff that happened. He basically just ran out of money and when, when, you're, when you're playing with attorneys and legal stuff, you're, you're basically in a spot where whoever has the, the most money wins generally and uh, it has very little to do with right and wrong or guilt or innocence and when your one side is backed by uh, the United States government, they have fairly unlimited coffers to be able to throw tons of attorneys and all kinds of things at it. So, um, anyway, so back to the whole Mueller report. So they, they, they found that there was no collusion, no chance of collusion, um, nothing happening. What that means is, is that Trump did not, uh, he did not coordinate with Russia to try to interfere with the election to get himself elected. It didn't happen. It's a nothing burger. Absolutely did not happen. So that's what the whole investigation is about. So it would be kind of like if you went into a, uh, a burger shop and you ordered a, uh, a meal and you took that meal and you walked out with it. No, you actually paid for it. You paid for it when you ordered it. You took it and you walked out. And then, and, they, and it's all on video camera. And there, then somebody comes along and says, you stole the meal. How would you respond? You're like, no, I, I actually paid for it. And no, no, we actually, we don't think that you did pay for it. And uh, we want to investigate that. And uh, we're going to call in all these lawyers and attorneys and, we're going to watch the video when you were in the restaurant and was that real money that you used or was that counterfeit money or, uh, you know, did you charge it to your credit card and then dispute the charge so you didn't actually end up paying for it? That's what is, is basically happening to Trump and even all the, uh, so we'll get into obstruction because that's their, the big, uh, rub now is, well, he obstructed justice which is such a joke. What a ridiculous thing to even say. And it's just totally uh, a typical left trying to spin up negativity around the president to uh, create this narrative, create this story, this message uh, or throughout the country that something is wrong in DC, something, yeah, there's something wrong with DC. It's all the politicians. It's certainly not something wrong in the White House. And, uh, so basically what they're saying is that Trump is guilty of obstruction of justice. They know they can't pin collusion because there's no evidence of collusion. They made it clear there was no evidence of collusion. And so now we want to try to pin him with obstructing their ability to determine whether or not he was guilty. Are you serious for a minute here? I would be like a bull in a china shop if somebody was trying to falsely accuse me of something like that. And I think most of you probably would be too. So Trump is innocent. He did not collude. But somehow, some way, he's guilty of defending himself even though 
he has the legal right as the president of the United States to fire Mueller and to end the investigation. He does not because that would give the appearance that maybe they were gonna find something. He allows it to continue. They don't find anything. But now they wanna say that he obstructed justice. It's just, it's mind boggling to me that they think the American people are so stupid that they would believe such a narrative. And the media sees fit to continue to tell that story. That's it. Why is it that after the Mueller report came out and it said there is no obstruction, there is no collusion, uh, and they didn't, they didn't technically say there was obstruction either, but they left the door open for people to insinuate that. I, you know, and again, I don't know if you know this, but there was 19 attorneys on Mueller's team. Half of them supported uh, Hillary Clinton financially. All of them supported her in terms of voting. So it wasn't like there was a fair team. It was a team that was assembled by Mueller to uh, find any dirt they could, uh, uncover anything they could to make the president look bad and they couldn't find anything. And so now it's come down to, oh, well, you know, during the investigation, when we are investigating him for something that he didn't actually do, you know, he, you know, obstructed justice and you know they ignore the fact that he was was openly willing to testify himself and the only reason he didn't was because his attorneys wouldn't let him and not because they thought he was guilty they knew what other attorneys would do to him and what they would do to every word that he said uh, in terms of twisting it into their own narrative uh, so they were wise to not let him testify he uh, did not obstruct the investigation's ability to gather information from the White House. They completely complied with all the requests for documents from the White House. And um, he allowed the investigation to continue, even though he had the full right to fire them. So you didn't miss anything in the hearing today. The only thing you're missing is some money out of your wallet because once again, Washington DC is wasting our tax dollars on stupid crap that they should not be working on. So, such a disappointment. Now, on the positive side, uh, Jordan, Senator Jordan, um, just look up his section of uh, what he said. Each of the senators has five minutes. He basically said everything I just said in however long this has been, 12 or 13 minutes. He said everything I said in about two minutes. He is awesome. That guy is, he, he really uh, has it nailed down. And um, his, his uh, piece in particular uh, was, was very pointed and good. Um, I'm trying to remember what state he's from. I want to say Utah, but I could be, I think I'm wrong about that. I don't remember what state it is. But look up uh, Senator Jordan in, in, uh, Mueller hearing or something like that on YouTube, and you'll find his little two, three minute clip. And it's, it's quite compelling. If I, after I post this, I'll try and find it uh, when I'm sitting at my computer and I'll attach it as a comment or something so you can see it because it's really good.